People make choices everywhere and all the time. Every time they buy a product or service, they make a decision. These small decisions determine the success or failure of your business. To grow your brand, you need more people to choose your brand over the competition. You need people to choose your brand more often. And then you need to make it easy for people to choose your brand. So growing brands is about understanding and influencing how people make choices. Meet Alice, who wants to buy a brand new and stylish laptop for her first year at university. This laptop is a big investment and an important decision for her. She's been looking around for the right computer for the last three weeks, talking with friends, surfing the web, trying laptops at IT retailers, comparing brands, prices and promotions. She is now close to making the final decision and her brain processes the options, the iconic brand that she likes, the brand she saw 10 minutes ago on Facebook, the brand she notices on her tablet, the brand her boyfriend recommended, the brand she saw on promotion at the retailer. Alice immediately compares all the options the pros, the cons, and in the end, she chooses the brand that maximizes the answer to those conscious and unconscious needs and perceptions, Juno. Now that you know how Alice forms choices for laptops, you will be able to influence her decision in favor of your brand. And I'm going to explain how. Your brand is more likely to be chosen if it comes positively to Alice's mind if it is part of her consideration set. It has created a strong mental network for Alice. In other words, it has a lot of positive associations, both functional and emotional. It beats the competition on these associations and therefore represents the highest value choice for Alice. Those three dimensions form what we call brand desire. In short, for you, it means finding ways to connect your brand to the things people care about. But customers can't always get what they prefer. As a student, Alice has a limited budget and she also wants to keep some money for a fun weekend away. So she finally decides to buy her second choice, which is offering a good price promotion for students. This is what we call market effects. Even if your brand is the first choice, it might not be bought because it doesn't have the right promotion or price. It's not delivered fast enough or it doesn't have good expert recommendations. It wasn't easy for Alice to get what she wanted, so she went for a different option. So, to recap, strong brands create desire for people and manage the market effects well to translate desire into purchase. BBC is simple and actionable. It combines the components of strong brands into one indicator called effective equity. And because effective equity correlates to sales, you know that by following our recommendations, you will improve sales. Plus, BBC will also indicate your future growth potential. With BBC, you focus on how people's thoughts and feelings are linked to the choices they make and their behavior in real life. You benefit from a straightforward and deep analytical framework. You always get recommendations and a clear action plan. And BVC speaks to all stakeholders, the marketing team, the ad agency, and commercial teams. And that's how you unleash brand growth with Ipsos.